let's assume that cot inverse 1 plus x is equal to theta and tan inverse x is equal to phi. Therefore, the given equation simplifies to sine theta is equal to cos phi. Now, theta is equal to cot inverse 1 plus x. Therefore, cot theta is equal to 1 plus x. Now, consider a right angle triangle with the angle between the base and the hypotenuse being theta. Since cot theta is equal to 1 plus x, therefore the base is equal to 1 plus x and the perpendicular is 1. Therefore, using Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse is square root of 1 plus x whole square plus 1. Therefore, sine theta in this triangle, which is equal to the perpendicular upon the hypotenuse, is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 plus x whole square plus 1, which is equal to 1 upon square root of x square plus 2x plus 2. Now, phi is equal to tan inverse x. Therefore, tan phi is equal to x. Now, consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is phi. Since tan phi is equal to x, therefore the perpendicular is x and the base is 1. So using Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse is equal to square root of 1 plus x square. Therefore in this triangle, cos phi, which is equal to the base upon the hypotenuse, is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. So using the given equation, which is sine theta is equal to cos phi, and substituting the results above, we get 1 upon square root of x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. Taking the reciprocal and squaring both sides, we get x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to x square plus 1. x square cancels and we get 2x is equal to minus 1, which implies that x is equal to minus half, which is the required solution.